Hello everybody, welcome to Indigo Terra Odyssey. How is everybody? Hooray! Today we're going to take a look at the energy and spirit oracle cards. Love the messages, the artwork is beautiful. It, it's really kind of reminiscent of some of the Colette Baron Reed decks. Great information, really warm, super colors, really. Oh, I just love it. So let's tuck into the Goddess of Dreams, Vision, Intuition, and Receptivity. I love this. This card definitely heralds a time of great intuitive receptivity for you, psychic powers being on the rise, being able to receive important guidance about your present energy and future events. I felt like this this morning too. I just intuitively felt there needed to be certain vitamins and minerals in my diet to help, you know, with just smooth activity, you know, to help joints and um, muscles and all of that. So I started uh, trying some new things this morning and I instantly felt better. I could feel that. So this also talks about inspiring information and new ideas that are coming in and you connect the proper way with your spirit guides and your higher self. So no matter what you're working on, your ability to open up to the messages of spirit will spark these visions of the future and help you visualize more dynamic outcomes, what we bring in. And this also helps, like I know when I have a happy perspective on something like, oh, I'm going to find great parking. The roads are going to be smooth. I'm going to meet nice people. I've had really fun engagements today. This fun little dog that was in the elevator with all of us and everybody was laughing. It was so cute. Just fun social engagements, pressure free. Start to envision that. This also can signal a deep dive into um, intuitive healing, mediumship, whether you use your intuitive powers personally or professionally, it really is the time to watch them thrive. So you guys could pull a few cards for yourself if you have tarot oracle cards. Um, a great affirmation for this is my intuitive powers are truly unlimited. I trust my messages and embrace the beautiful visions of my future. I know when I really listen to my intuition and I'm silent and I meditate, I have such a smooth day. I have such a calm calm allowance of just activities to flow to me without getting, you know, emotionally connected. I can just kind of float over them, see what comes in and, you know, also put a little like sparkle on them too. Like, wow, this is going to be awesome. I'm going to learn about this, get excited about things which brings us to prosperity. That's always a good card. And I just love how this just looks you know, it reminds me so much of Wizard of Oz with the yellow brick road. I just love it. Uh, again, this is about abundance and success. This card definitely heralds a time of great prosperity that is opening up for you. Abundant blessings may come in a lot of forms for many reasons. It may be that project you've been working on for a long time, finally coming to fruition, an investment or potential property sale to be paying off or some unexpected gift, inheritance, something like that might be coming your way. So get ready to enjoy the fruits of your labor and the rewards of your faith and patience as well. So you deserve a great undiluted joy and that radiant garden will be blossoming soon. You know, even if the shower of blessings only comes in drops and sprinkles at first, remember to notice the gifts already gracing your life because I feel like gratitude pulls in more and more. I know the days that I'm like, wow, like look at my refrigerator filled with yummy food. I'm so excited. Thank you, universe. I just feel like more blessings start to come in when I feel I'm already blessed. So the more that you acknowledge those and other forms of value in your life, the more your newfound prosperity will grow and multiply. A great affirmation for this is abundant forms of value will fill my life. I am attracting increasing prosperity, greater peace of mind, and more joyous times. You know, give yourself something to look forward to, and then it gets you in that vein of thinking of like gleeful and happy anticipation of something, you know, not lamenting or fear, any of that, just release all of that and, you know, kind of follow the yellow brick road. Now, I love this prophecies and ancient, oh, prophets and ancient seers, decisions, predictive guidance. Um, I feel right now that, and, and let me read from the book for a sec, because I thought this was really interesting. Although the prophets in ancient societies are all, also ascended masters and bring equally profound guidance, they carry with them a slightly different energy. Their messages are often predictive, revealing future potentials and offering advice on how to achieve the outcomes desired. The ancient seers are a powerful group that spans the length of history. They include biblical prophets like Isaiah and Daniel, the Greek 
Pythia and the Oracle of Delphi and the other less known soothsayers of Western Europe, from the Druid high priest and priestesses to the English prophets, Mother Shipton and the French astrologer Nostradamus. So these brilliant prophets were all able to see future events and answer questions. They are also here to do the same for you. So invoke their presence in meditation when falling asleep. I love this because when this card comes up, it kind of reveals that they are near and ready to guide you in the right directions. Oftentimes I'll ask archangels for assistance or help. Um, if like, I know one of my strange concerns is like my body won't be able to keep up with the agenda that my mind set. Seriously, I want to go exercise. I want to work. I have several drop offs for my son at college during the week. I, I do all these things. And every once in a while, I'll feel like joint or muscle pain. And that's hence, that's why I started studying um, anti-inflammatories this morning even more. So like I know, but I really want a, the right combination. You know, I want to be the alchemist of making this body as strong as it can. And I ask um, Archangel Michael for protection when I'm out driving, you know, that I stay focused and I don't pull the leg muscle that I need to drive the car. Because you ever have that fear like, oh my gosh, like what if... Um, you know, when you get Charlie horses or something weird like that, just something that isn't great while you're driving. And I asked, you know, for help and healing within that. And I feel like it does take place. So a great affirmation for this is I open my heart to the wisdom and foresight of the ancients. I trust in the future and in myself. And I like this because it also lets us know that we have the capabilities to see life through, that we don't try to take on too much on a daily basis. You know, there's supposed to be joy and meditation and rest and um, it's, it helps us find a lovely balance when we have all of this together. It definitely does. You know, as the, the receptivity that we have to really look out there and see synchronicities and seek advice and slow everything down and get in flow state and listen to our highest aligned self. Things start to guide us right here to abundance and success. So you guys, that is what you were meant to hear today. I hope you all have a great day. Thanks so much for tuning in all your great comments. Don't forget to press like and subscribe if you're new to my channel. And again, if you're curious about this, love these. I go on Amazon every once in a while and I'll put new Oracle decks and the new findings from 2022 come in and there's some real like there's some real gold out there. So I'm excited. So love and light.